Hey everyone, welcome back to Toy Foolery, and today we're taking a look at the White Dragon Dragon Prime 2 pack from the Legend of the White Dragon movie. Hopefully, it comes out someday. But in the meantime, if you don't have one of these, you're just a cheap imitation. Hit the theme music. I'm super excited. I wasn't gonna get this, um, but uh, unfortunately this was announced like shortly after JDF passed and just me being a sentimental sap that I am, I decided that as the last hurrah for JDF, I was gonna get this and I did. Now, am I disappointed in it? I don't know. You guys are always with me when I do my first impressions. I'm hopefully that this is a great toy as this is the last JDF toy that I purchased, man, the last one that I got. So let's see, I hope it is. Let's see if this box is better than your mom. This box than the box was on the front, we get the white dragon helmet on the box. And this is lackluster and I don't blame Valiverse for this. This is not their fault. This is what happens when you release a, a toy when the movie hasn't released yet and you don't really have promo images or anything else from it. So that kind of sucks. On the side, we have a nice render or I'm not even sure what that is. It looks really cool of the white dragon. On the back, we get two photos of the white dragon and dragon prime. We get dragon prime on the other side. These are really cool photos, by the way. I really do like the photos on the side of the box and this box is okay i love the renders on the side um legend of the white dragon on the top nothing on the bottom um love the the renders on the side but the front of the box is just is blah there's nothing on there and i don't have any other valiverse toys so i can't compare the boxes but this just seems like well, you got it because the Legend of White Dragon, and I did. So shut up and take it. Not a fan of that, so boo. But let's check out what's in the box, and hopefully that makes up for the lackluster presentation. Oh, what's in the box? So in the box, we get the White Dragon, we get Dragon Prime, and we get a decent amount of accessories. Not as much as I would like, not lightning collection quality uh, accessories. We don't get blast effects or weapons or anything of that nature, but we don't know what's coming with the movie. So it's unfair for me to grade, you, grade them on that. I only can grade them on what we got. We got alternate hands. Um, we got a different wrist uh, band for to, to attach the blade for both characters. We got two sets of extra hands and we got unmasked heads and we, I don't know if they'll ever be unmasked in their suits. I've seen them morph, but this is the thing that you would get with a lightning collection. Like I said, didn't get a weapon, but I guess we can consider these weapons. I guess we consider that a weapon. So lightning collection, the only thing they're missing is a special blast effect. And then this would be lightning collection level. Uh, this is the head scope for focus. Excuse me, let's focus. Let's go for JDF. I'm hoping it looks decent, but we'll go over that in design. And the head sculpt for Dragon Prime. Not the, not the greatest head sculpt, but decent enough. So yeah, that's what we get. Not the worst set of accessories. Most probably wouldn't shot you. And we're also, oh, I forgot to mention, we get these stands for both of them with the Legend of the White Dragon logo on it. Focus. Can you see it? Yes, you can. There we go, better. So we get a blue one and a red one. I do like the way the color is on it. I like the design on it. So 
this is actually really decent. The design and the coloring on the logo on the stand is actually really cool. So I don't, I'm not knocking Valiverse for this. I'm knocking whoever, Bad in the Sun, for not giving more details about the characters and things of that nature. But let's get into the suit design because that's something that I'm really interested in. I'm hoping that the movie's really good, but let's go look into the suit. We can compare it to the movie and see if there's small de details that are being missed. As you can see, we get a really nice logo, uh, well not logo, symbol in the middle of his chest. That's decent. Uh, I don't, once again, not enough information to go off of, but the rest of the bodysuit actually does look like the promo images and videos we've seen for The Legend of the White Dragon. I think the helmet might be a little bit off. Um, the visors seem to be a little bit sleeker in the movie. Uh, actually looks like the promo images that we get on the side of the box from what I saw, but it could be a difference between practical and uh, the CGI. So the practical might have these big gawky visors and the CGI is a little bit more slim and sleek. But in the back, we get some pretty decent designs. I love the pattern on the clothes on the back. Um, I love this little portion there. This is, uh, it might be a little bit bland, but this is basically Tommy's colors. As if he was, if this was the White Ranger, it would be white with a little bit of patterning. And this is kind of what that fills in. So not so bad. Like I said, once again, not blaming Valiverse for this. This is kind of a bad and sun problem. Um, I'm not a fan of the helmet though. It's, it looks a little eh. It just, maybe it's something that will grow on me if I see it, but I'm, I'm not a fan of it. But I do like the suit. The suit looks really good. Um, I wish this wasn't floaty. Why are you floaty? I wish you weren't floaty, but you are, this is decent. Not the worst. Not the best, but a fairly decent toy. We get some nice design on the bottom of the boot, some nice design on the gauntlet on the feet. Yeah, this is really decent. I'm not mad at it. Let's see, is there a difference between the red, uh, the Dragon Prime and White Dragon? And they are no different. They are the same toy, just colored differently. Uh, one is red and black. The other one is silver and gold but they are the same exact toy. No difference at all from anything whatsoever. Not, not one difference, just different coloring. Okay. Yeah, that's, that is trash. And once again, this is not, I, I keep, I want to keep emphasizing this. I don't want to say Valor versus trash for this. They're only doing what they were given. And that was the design Dragon Prime and the White Dragon. And they knew if they didn't put them together, no one, and I mean no one, was going to get Dragon Prime. So that's, that was a business decision. They did what was best for the line. Oh well. I mean, I might use Dragon Prime, but not to display with the White Dragon. Focus. So, and I guess the other question that comes up is the JDF head scope. I don't really care about the other character. I don't know who he is. The JDF head scope, it looks really good. Um, not exactly JDF, but it looks fairly decent, especially because we are looking at uh, a head shaven JDF, an older version of him. To be fair, this is no worse than anything that we get from the Lightning Collection. In fact, it might be the best JDF head sculpt that we've ever gotten. So kudos to Valiverse because I think until the last Tommy for the remaster, most of the heads were looking very, very, I don't even, I wouldn't call them Tommy. Maybe the comic ones from the uh, metallic Power Ranger version was comic accurate, but none of them were ever accurate to JDF. So this is a cool rendition of him. I really appreciate having this. Like even the Dr. Oliver from um, Dino Fury, I'm not Dino Fury, Dino Thunder was trash. So this is cool. 
So I'm going to, I, I appreciate the head sculpt. I appreciate having an extra version of JDF that might not be official Power Rangers, but fits in with what I have. Speaking of, does it fit in with what I have? Let's take a look and see how he looks with other versions of JDF. So here we have the JDF army with one of the unofficial figures. I'm not going to bust out my Lord Dragons. I have two of them or my Z05 or my White Ranger or any of the other Green Rangers. This is what we're getting. I'm not going to take all of them out the box, especially because most of them are on the bottom of the wall of whaling It's annoying. But as you can see, just a smidgen bigger than the uh, lightning collection, but it blends in well. I really appreciate that. Like I said, this is one of those things where it's going to blend in with my my kind of JDF collection it was my definitely my favorite Ranger. So I'm super excited and stoked that this item blends in well. Let's see if this thing can do a squat. One and two and three and four and JDF out the way, JDF out the way, JDF on the floor. And we're not going to sacrifice you just in case. I don't know if the joints are stiff. I've broken limbs on toys recently, and I'm not going to do that to the toy that I actually want to keep. Double jointed knee, really good job hiding in the knee. The jointed knee, I really appreciate that. Good job, Valiverse. This is the first Valiverse toy I'm having, so I'm excited to actually be reviewing this. Uh, good, no crunch at all. No crunch at all. It can barely move up and down. Um, I've been watching videos on YouTube and I might have to pop them and shave out some of the things. I know why they didn't do it because you can see the ridges on the side of the body, which the ridges on the side of the body make it impossible to, to bend down. So it makes it very difficult to keep track of, to bend that the, all the way down. The ridges get in the way so i understand why they did that doesn't mean that is not annoying um get some bend not much twist in the waist it's fighting me so and breaks the scope completely because of the way it turns so and his hips are trash so this is he can get in a half sitting position double jointed elbows though that's fine so he can in theory squat if he had better hips he can't push his chest out really because he can't he can't put his chest out or poke his butt out because the articulation in the waist and the upper diaphragm is really bad but it's serviceable you can look up that far he can't look down at all he can look down if you look at the back of his neck he's actually looking down um but it doesn't seem like a lot especially because of the way the chest piece is with the way the chest piece is so it doesn't look like he's actually looking down but he actually is can he superhero land he has the knees for it he does not have the waist for it so he's going to get on one knee and he's not going to get any real bend so you're going to get something like this not not the worst thing especially if you could put him some cool poses it's not so bad but yeah could be better like this is not a bad release. It's just that I want it much more, especially like I said, it's the last JDF figure that we'll get. So it's really depressing that it's not like super stellar. Like I was super excited when I got the remastered green because that was actually a really excellent figure, except for the fact that the freaking shield was with the Red Ranger. But other than that, awesome release. And then we got the uh, Master Morpher. So can't be mad at that those are two great things to add to his legacy after he passed but then this is actually the last toy and i know this was a passion process project for him but these toys don't represent jdf the way i would like him to be represented and this is just from a fan's point of view i don't know if the the estate or bad in the sun really love these figures or they were just doing a cash grab but whatever and finally, 
Let's discuss the price is wrong, price. bitch. Focus toys. Focus. So the two pack of the White Dragon and Dragon Prime. These two bad boys cost sixty dollars. Plus if you get it from it's sixty dollars if you get it from Valiverse plus six dollars shipping. If you get it from Big Bad Toy Store, I think it's like an extra two dollars, so it's sixty-eight dollars and then not sixty-eight, sixty-two dollars, and then you have to pay for the shipping, which could be four dollars or less if you spread it out amongst other toys. Um, I got it from Valorverse because I just the idea of paying extra money to Big Bad Toy Store for the same figures just seems silly. So get it with the now. I guess the question is not how much it really costs, but is it worth it? I... That was my muscle man impression. Um, I'm torn because if it was just the white dragon, I would say absolute buy for any JDF fan. Go get this. It's a must because like I said, it's the last figure of JDF, but is not one figure it is a two pack that's sixty dollars and as much as i love jdf getting dragon prime just seems like a waste unless you're going to use it for fodder for something else which is very plausible is a really nice figure it's not as flexible as a lightning collection it's, it has a little less articulation than you would want but it's a really nice figure you probably can use it for a villain just a general power in your villain if you want to put it on display but the fact that you have to buy a two pack makes it kind of eh. And that will be, that's my only complaint about this is that this is a must buy. You get this and you get JDF's, the head sculpt. These two things is definitely worth. Oh, I didn't even notice that. He has a barcode inside. I said, that's super dope. Um, these two things, absolutely worth the money the JDF head scope and the white dragon, but dragon prime and JDF and, and uh, white dragon, maybe not. I'm going to say, no, it's not worth $60. And that's not a knock against Valor versus it's just that it's literally the same co uh, toy color swap. And it's the same thing that I knocked Hasbro for with their transformers. So it's kind of weird that I'm going to, I would let it slide with someone else. So I'm not is not worth the money now if you're a super fan of jdf like i am a super fan of power rangers and super sentai then it's a must but yeah if you're not a fan of jdf i can't i can't recommend it and i like i said i'm a super jdf fan i you see yeah that's literally my childhood but that toy is not worth $60. The one toy, absolutely, I would pay $30 for that one toy just because I understand that it's a one-off toy and no, they'll never use this mold again. But yeah. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. I'll catch you in the next vid. Peace.